This is a Sento. A Sento is a novel type of robot combining both wheels and legs for an effective locomotion. Our robot only has two wheels. Thus, it is always unstable and requires balancing continuously. As we humans also only have two legs, we face a similar challenge as a Sento. We humans tackle this problem in two steps. Firstly, using our inner ear, we can tell our orientation in space. In the second step, we then move our feet accordingly to prevent falling. On a Sento, we use a very similar principle. We also have a sensor which can measure the orientation in space. If it then detects it is falling forwards, it will simply move the wheels forwards or vice versa. And a center does this 400 times a second, such that you can't even see that it's actually falling. With this approach, the whole system becomes very stable, such that you can give it a little kick or push. This instability can also be used to actively move a center. We do this with this remote control steering device. So much for the wheels. A Sento also has legs with which it can move its body up and down. Since there are various cameras mounted on the system, it is beneficial for the robots to be as tall as possible. In this way, a larger visual range can be achieved. At the same time, being small is also perfect for driving in tight and compact spaces. So by having legs, we can essentially combine the best of both worlds. Additionally, having two separate legs is also great for driving fast in curves. A Sento can use its legs to actively lean into curves, just like a motorbike driver. It's a bit tight here, but with enough space, it looks quite spectacular. <laughs> and because a Sento has got very powerful legs, it is also able to make a little jump. <laughs> Ultimately, we can now combine both driving and jumping to let a Sento overcome obstacles. We will now tell the robot to move forward. It will then automatically detect the obstacle and jump on top of it. For driving down, the robot is currently still steered by us. However, it will notice if it loses ground contact and will then try to land as smooth as possible. This is the only part we are still doing by hand, which is also why it is the least robust of it all. With all these features, a Sento can perform missions of up to one and a half hour. And once ended, it can fall in a controlled manner and enter a resting position. <laughs> and just with the push of the button, stand up again. So, what is essentially the use of such a technology? A Sento, as you see it here, is just a fun little robot that is capable of jumping. But let's talk about a possible future application that could be tackled with such a system. Thanks to the small form factor and high agility, a center could be used for last mile delivery purposes. Instead, that one person has to walk multiple kilometers and climb up many stairs, a swarm of a centers could do this job in a very effective manner. At the same time, we want to keep the system as modular and versatile as possible. In the end, to also let others develop and customize the system for their specific needs. Now, of course, we are not the only ones behind this project. Ascento was originally started as a student project last year, and we are very thankful to have a great team behind it. With this, we'd also like to thank you all for your attention. Oh, and also Ascento, thank you for the show. <laughs> <laughs>